further here today, Karl Lagerfeld, we're doing volume, very high chignon. We have headbands, like uh, super shiny, like in brown, black, so it's like flat and high. <laughs> We decided to have uh, the point on the lips, as you can see, very, very strong color that we will find this color on the collection too. And uh, the idea was to have very beautiful eyes with brownish around, always very, very sexy and beautiful, but normal, not exaggerated and uh, normal skin, very fresh. And after very, very strong, glossy lips, like a latex you know, on the lips, very strong, like a very beautiful accent on the lips. Je voudrais Carly, Freja, Abeli, Sigrid, Siri. I think that, you know, being in the business uh, as long as I've been, you create certain relationships with people that are sort of unwavering and I'm in Paris and I'm, I'm always keen to, to be here with Carl and be a part of his vision. He always blows my mind. And he's such a lovely person. Fendi is like, is, am I telling me? Chanel is me doing Chanel. And this is my personal taste of very graphic effects. Huh? the different lengths, uh, the proportion of the body, uh, and the quite tough attitude. Huh? It's, not a, it's not a romantic collection. Off-white, black, and dark brown. With a few touches of navy, but not too many. There's no leggings, they're pants. Huh? It's a new material, but it's like, uh, like patent leather, but it's very, very light, thin, 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 thin. It's not uh, lastex or something like this. Huh? strikes a chord closer to his own personal aesthetic and I think it's a real way for him to channel his own personal style into a more feminine um, look but it's all still you know Lagerfeld Gallery also very feels like Carl which is is um, is always really interesting the way he interprets that. Love Carl. You know, he's always got a bit of a dramatic twist when he does his KL collection. It was very aggressive. Again, beautiful tailoring, great jackets, great jackets, great coats. Um, and then with a very sort of sheer vinyl or PVC skirts and leggings, which, you know, a little bit 80s, a little bit fun, a bit of a tweak, but basically it was a top blazer and a coat collection. A lot of boiled wool and boiled felt. 
And I like the contrast of the smart material with the very shiny leggings, what you call it, or legs and skirts, you see. I think for KL, he's cleaned it up a bit. It's a little less tricky. It's a little bit more simplified. Again, a little bit chic, a little bit more conservative, a little bit more pared down. The silhouette, uh, it's, uh, it's near the body, but it's not with a little tiny waist like this. There is a kind of uh, inset, what looks like a corset, but it's not a corset in the classic way. It's more like a belt for, for motorcycles, but part of the dresses. So it's very body conscious in a non-aggressive uh, and not uh, too physical way in the sense of I'm sexy, you see. It's this headband, and sometimes it has little holes here that you can hear. Uh, there are a few new things I made with Swarovski uh, jewelry, some interesting pieces with a kind of Inca inspiration and a new way to do my initials uh, in diamond. You know, this is not a show uh, overloaded with, hand with handbags and things like this. This is more a silhouette show. <laughs> They are not uh, done in a, uh, how, what could I say, too much red carpet style. They are quite chic, they are like little t-shirts, and then they are long transparent skirts over those patent leather pants. So you see the legs shiny uh, when they uh, walk through the, the mousseline uh, and, and the chiffon. Is, uh, in France they say mousseline, in the English they say chiffon. And, uh, because chiffon in, in, other, in French is not the same thing at all. Chiffon in France is something you use to clean the house. Huh?